Kevin, the problem is coming down oh, on enough just snow. Just take your time. Yeah. <laughs> nice and slow. Yeah, we yeah. definitely need new storms, and we definitely need new snow. In the valleys, we're stuck in the muck with the fog and the smog in the upper mountains. It's nice, but they just need more snow. Take a look at this. Craig Jensen capturing this view of the creeping fog across the Salt Lake Valley, and it is soupy, and it is a combination of pollution and fog. Above it, partly to mostly cloudy skies. So if you get up into the mountains or really outside of the Wasatch Front Valley, it was a partly cloudy day with above normal temperatures, but stuck in it, it's hard to understand that not everyone is dealing with the same weather condition. Ron Rasban capturing this morning's sunrise at Suncrest, and you can see it lit up the cloud cover with that beautiful pink, and then the ocean of fog in the valleys. If you were in it, you probably walked out to this, whether it was on the lawn, the rooftop, your car, Anything became a surface for that rhyming where everything gets coated with a nice little crystal of uh, ice and Ray Boren at Farmington Bay capturing that shot. So incredible things that happen during an inversion like this. The temperatures in the valleys, super stuck in the low 30s, but almost 10 degrees warmer when you get up vertically. And that's just what happens. The air pattern is inverted where the cold air is down low and the warmer air is above to the west. Denver was 58 today, Phoenix 75 with 60s in Las Vegas. So a mild pattern. The overall flow right now is one coming out of the southwest, but it doesn't really do much for us because we're still stuck in that influencing high. So temperatures right now, 36 in Elko, 32 in Ogden, price doing the same with 55 in St. George. A little bit of precipitation skirting the Utah-Arizona border. A little bit of precipitation being kind of flung in from this low pressure off the coast, clipping through northwestern Utah and southern Idaho. Nothing of any consequence, nothing of any strength or even of the cold air variety that would help reset and flip the bad air out of the valleys. And the problem? It doesn't look like anything major coming for the next five days. So tonight... Mostly cloudy, some morning fog through the day Tuesday, mostly cloudy with a few little pieces coming in from the southwest, but they're not much at all. They're going to ride right over the top and maybe bring a sprinkle or a flurry, but it just stays the same. Mostly cloudy skies, temperatures below normal in the valleys, above normal above, and the pattern holds all the way into the weekend before Christmas with a little glimmer in the seven day that I'll show to you. But tomorrow... Mostly cloudy skies across most of southern Utah, 50s and 60s for Cedar City to St. George. Seven-day forecast, our normal time of year, this time of year is 52. We'll be above that for the majority of the seven-day forecast, 60s through Thursday. I've got a little bit of rain coming in on Saturday, and then partly cloudy skies and temperatures below normal for Christmas Day. In northern Utah... Foggy overnight, smoggy during the day, air quality levels continue to be rough, 30s in Logan, but 40s in Heber City, and that pattern continues, 47 in Park City, it's 15 or 14 degrees above where Salt Lake City is going to be, it's just a very odd pattern, and the seven day shows fog or smog for the next four, then a chance on Saturday, now cross your fingers, do whatever you gotta do, it may be a Christmas miracle to get rid of that inversion because that storm just does not look that big. But it's the only shot we've got to try to do it before Christmas. Hey, come on, Christmas miracle. I know. That's <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, JJ.